ever been a time where you found yourself going on the offense as a cybersecurity professional? No. 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 My name is Olivera Zatezao and I'm Chief Security Officer at Huawei Canada. What is it like being the Chief Security Officer at Huawei given the news that has come out over the past 18 months? Definitely it's one of the toughest cybersecurity jobs in Canada right now and not just in Canada, maybe even globally. And I have to say, I love big challenges, so I love every single day I spend on this job. It's an important issue that we have resolved over the next, hopefully, few months. And uh, I'm very excited to be part of this team who is finding a solution for this problem. Right. What would you say to the people who are potentially apprehensive about trusting Huawei with their data? corporations, governments, even individuals? So I think we need to talk. I think that the answer is let's get talking, discussing. Talk is always better. All these discussions that we see in the media and newspaper, they are based on fear. Fear is never good. We have to work in an open and transparent fashion, understand what are the real issues that we are trying to address. And I'm sure I'm very positive. It's a very difficult situation right now, but we'll find a way. It's a, just a temporary phase. How do you build trust with people who are potentially, you know, naturally skeptical? You have to talk. Yeah. Talk is always an answer. Yeah. It's, it's the only answer. What is it like knowing that you might be the scapegoat if there is a major cybersecurity breach? I, I don't think like that. No? Okay. No, I um. don't. Like, that's not the way how I think. I'm very positive and I always uh, look for the solutions and I have a fate, uh, so I don't worry. I sleep okay. very well at night. <laughs> sleep very well. <laughs> I've been part of the Huawei story much before I joined Huawei. I actually was part of the team of cybersecurity experts in Canada working with Canadian government who work on establishing cybersecurity legal framework to bring Huawei in Canada 10 years ago. So I was very familiar with this story. I knew that we do have an issue in Canada that we need to solve and I understood the reasons why carriers push strongly and passionately to bring Huawei in. So for me, there was a no-brainer. I wanted to work with these very open-minded people, people who are curious about, uh, about cybersecurity, about finding and building the best and the fastest network for, for Canada and Canadians. How do you maintain cybersecurity in a world where we have nation states potentially committing cybersecurity attacks? Mm -hmm. So I think it's again going back to working openly and transparently with local government. And I want to reassure Canada and Canadians that we actually have one of the best cybersecurity experts and I'm very pleased that I personally chosen Canada to raise my kid and my family in here because this is the, still the best and the, the safest place even in a cyber place in the world.